Welcome to Motoring Northwest and the new Suzuki Jimny. Yes, these little 4x4s aren't just 4x4s, they are positive icons. But the one interesting thing is Suzuki built their own competition because for the new Jimny to be as good, if not better, than the old Jimny was a serious undertaking. So what have Suzuki been able to do? They've taken all the best bits of the previous models, put them together, modernised them, and come up with this very trendy, very desirable little all-wheel drive box that does a tremendous job, all sat on 15-inch rims, with 195 80 tyres. The other improvements are it now has a 1.5 litre engine. The difference is, unlike its predecessor, which was a 1.3 variable valve, this is a variable valve, which means you're still to rev it with the same enthusiasm, but you don't get your twin power bands you get 90 mile an hour top speed. Suzuki don't quote a note to 60, but it's approximately 13 seconds if my self-timing has been anything to go by. It will do mid 30s to the gallon. And all is this is mated to a five speed. Yes, five speed. I'm surprised Suzuki haven't found a six speed, but a five speed manual transmission although an automatic is available, uh, in this, the SZ5 trim. Interestingly, they've done away with the electronic transfer box and they have gone back to a good old-fashioned lever. Inside, hard seats, they aren't the world's most comfortable, but they are durable, as is the rest of the interior. Uh, you've now got a central touchscreen, you've got sat-nav, uh, you've got Bluetooth, uh, you've got DAB radio, you have cruise control on the leather multifunction steering wheel. You've all the bits and pieces. You don't get that much stowage inside. You don't get that much stowage, full stop. Many people regard these as a two-seater vehicle. The reason being, with all four seats in place, you have 85 litres of cargo capacity. With the seats down, you have 830 litres of cargo capacity. And there is a little security box underneath the floor to keep your small valuables out of sight. You do get a glove box, you get microscopic door bins, but you do get two decent cup holders. Is it any good off-road? Well, although a lot of these will spend a lot of the time on-road because they are bought as a fashion accessory, yes, it is tremendous off-road. As you can see, I've just spent a good day and a half testing this off-road, and it does exactly what they claim it will do. If there is a slight negative, you have four turns lock to lock which can be a bit of an arm twirling affair in tight places or if you're negotiating your way through one or two tricky areas. But all in all, great motor. Long gone are the shimmy, the famous 50 mile an hour shimmy that the, its predecessor had that you could accelerate through. Also, it doesn't totter on corners. You don't get the sensation that you are going to roll over. <laughs> get, as I said, you have the colour screen, you have sun visors, you have heated seats, eh? absolutely unheard of in one of these, but you now get heated seats. You have air conditioning, uh, you've got pollen filters, but you'll be running with the windows down most of the time, no doubt, if you're anything like me. Uh, there's an immobiliser, 
Cruise control, why you want cruise control? By virtue of the fact you'll be on the gas most of the time with it. But there it is, once you've got it on the motorway uh, and you are pottering away at a nice steady 60, watching it probably climb to about 40 mpg. You have all the bits and pieces that you might want. It embodies everything that the Suzuki Jimny was and is. It's great fun to drive. It's still a little bit agricultural, but that's part of its charm. But off-road, there's a lot of serious four-wheel drive struggle to come anywhere near what this can do. And interestingly, it does it all on standard road tyres. If you put some serious off-road tyres on one of these, they literally do become what people say. They become an all-weather quad. But yes, I thoroughly enjoyed this car. There's probably all sorts of reasons why, if you're looking for a four-wheel drive to use every day, this might not be it. As I said, it is agricultural, or it's basic. Agricultural is probably the wrong word. It's basic. It's there to do a job. But it does a job for numerous different people. As an off-roader, as a workhorse, as something fashionable to go out and about in. No matter how you look at it, Suzuki's new Jimny is a great little motor. Prices start for the Z4 specification at 15,499, and this particular one, as I said, the Z SZ5 is £18,649 since Suzuki Affix wanted to toy to it when they were building it over in Japan. Will I have one? Well, I've already had two or three Suzuki Jimnys of the previous models. Yes, I'd have one in a flash. They're just a barrel of fun to drive. Is there a downside? Yes, Suzuki have not only created a new icon, they've created a bumping great waiting list for them. So, if you want one, go to your dealer, order one, and then sit back and wait for the phone to ring. But it will take it a long time before it rings for you. If you want to listen to the full review, go to Backseat Driver Radio Show on Dry Zone Radio 103.5 FM, or go to all the W's motoringnorthwest.com where you will be able to read the full, more in-depth review of this great little motor. <laughs>